so when you think about um, your big picture vision of this, you're, you're talking about it. You just glanced at it for a second, a hundred million people, the tipping point. What, what really is this big picture for you, this big vision, so we can grab hold of it and really, you know, help to empower it? What, what is it? It's, well, take it to the smallest level. Someone like me who had really terrible anxiety, some depression, different things that a lot of people are actually experiencing right now. I didn't have language for that. So first of all is, it's okay. We've all got, many of us have these things that now have names, some anxiety, and they're all in a continuum. So start with self. So 100 million people basically growing their creativity, their power, and you really can't grow your power to overcome your obstacles, your own emotional barriers, thoughts. That's what I've studied in myself is what are all those preconceptions or things that have built up over the years through our families, through generations that hold us back? And once you become aware of those, you can manage them really well. And so in answer to the 100 million, it's the critical mass of people being self-aware, conscious yeah. leadership. So people um, understanding who they are and connecting in healthy ways and that we don't do stupid stuff. <laughs> yeah, pretty much what we've been experiencing here. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah, so being, really being down mass. here in Texas, we see a lot of that <laughs> stupid stuff here, but you know, whatever, <laughs> we're here for a reason, right? And so I would say to you, and this is my question for you, like, what's the reason for you to do this? Like what, what really gets you up and drives you to do it? What do you feel like? What are you called to do here Ooh. with your part of it? I mean, at the highest level, it's about healing society, creating a peaceful society in the best way I know how. You know, and how do we educate and equip people to do that for themselves, especially young people, actually? Yeah. You know, they're looking out at this landscape and they're like, where do I go now? And I feel awful. I can't get, you know. So how do we equip young people in particular to manage themselves well? Yeah. Um, so they grow up into adults that can manage themselves. Totally. Well, right? oh, it's yeah. like personal agency, really. And, um, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what it is for me. I just, I have a, I think I have a, an, a highly unusual level of passion for this. And I don't truly know where that came from. Uh, You know, I have my own thoughts about that, but I see (laughs) myself in relation to, like, I don't understand how people don't want to get up and make a difference in the world. Yeah, it's Uh, something about, I think, service. Once you, um, you know, and this is just my perspective on it, that, you know, I exist because I'm loved in some way by the universe. And then from that place, I have to outflow into something, you know, to serve. And if I can serve at the highest level, that means that I'm going to get agency over myself and my emotions and, you know, everything, all this sort of stuff that you know, everybody thinks you are your brain and really we're like, no, no, your brain is an operating machine. Let's get busy. Like an antenna. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so watch out what is what it's magnetizing to you, right? 